Hey everyone! Centroid added laser engraving support starting in CNC 12 version 4.6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect, configure, test, and run a laser engraver on Centroid's Acorn CNC system. In this video, we'll be using the JTEC Photonics 7 Watt JTEC Pro Laser Kit. This schematic, S15049, shows the connections and layout that the Acorn Wizard software will assign when you select JTEC Laser in the Spindle PWM, or Pulse Width Modulation, setup menu. PWM is always on Output 2. Output 1 is No Fold Out. Output 4 is Laser Enable. Output 7 is Laser Reset. JTEC Safety Interlock, running through the No Fold Out, ensures that any time e-stop is pressed, the laser is disabled until the remote reset is cycled. An M37 code, which turns on the laser enable, also pulses the remote reset, activating the laser. In the setup wizard, under Spindle PWM Setup, you will find the laser selections. We're going to select JTEC Dedicated Laser No Spindle. Once a laser type is selected, the wizard automatically configures the outputs to match the schematic. Reset on output 7, laser enable on output 4, no fault out is output 1, and PWM is always output 2. Included in the Acorn standard installation are two test files that check your machine's backlash. Backlash is lost motion while changing direction. There is Zigzag Laser Sync Test X and Zigzag Laser Sync Test Y. Zigzag Laser Sync Test X will move across the X axis, firing the laser for six thousandths of an inch every half an inch four times. It will then index up the Y axis six thousandths of an inch, reverse direction, and move back across the X axis, repeating the same pattern. This continues until four lines are created. The Y zigzag laser sync test does the same for the Y axis. Once complete, the test patterns can be examined to ensure the laser is firing at the same point along both axes. Here we've used an inexpensive USB microscope to examine our test patterns. It shows loss of motion in both axes. In order to compensate for this, we go into Centroid's CNC software and select Utility, then Acorn Wizard. Under Axis Configuration, we find Lash Compensation. Here is where we will make minor adjustments until our test patterns are acceptable. First off, we'll try four thousandths. This is a trial and error process, so you may need to adjust these values a few times before you get good results. Click Write Settings to Centroid Configuration. Then click Yes to write your changes to the CNC control configuration. Then rerun the program and examine the test patterns. Repeat the process until your test patterns are acceptable. Once the X and Y test files produce straight lines, you are ready to start engraving. But before we start, here are four important M codes and G codes to remember for laser engraving. M37 turns on the laser enable and pulses the reset output. M38 turns off the laser and waits for a cooldown period before continuing. G37 on turns on velocity modulation. G37 off turns off velocity modulation. Included in the Acorn software is a Centroid logo laser file. At the start of the program is a G37 command to turn on velocity modulation, then an M37 command to turn on the laser. Metric is selected as the measurement unit. Absolute positioning is indicated by the G90 command with a starting position of XY0, and the power level in this file is set from 0 to 1000. Now that the backlash compensation is completed and the laser focal height has been set using JTEC's focusing disk, we can run the Centroid logo laser file. Now 
Grayscale is another type of laser engraving. This is when the laser travels over material horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, firing at varying intensities line by line to build up an image. There are several applications available that convert images to grayscale. For this demonstration, we're using a program called Gerbil Laser, a free program you can download which allows you to stream G-code and save image program files to your computer. A handy feature of this software is the ability to enter custom commands to G-code headers and footers. In order to get Gerbil Laser to output G-code compatible with Acorn CNC 12, we've added a few lines of code. The notepad file with these codes will be included in this video's comments. Once finished, you can upload an image to engrave and set up Gerbil Laser to output a program to run in CNC 12. First off are various image quality settings that can be adjusted to your preferences. Once you've set them, then select Next to bring up the target image table. From here, you will choose your laser type and the material you are engraving on. Laser Gerbil has presets to choose from which automatically configure engraving speed and laser power. Once you're satisfied with the setup, click Create and Laser GRBL will plot your image. Finally, save the G-code file using advanced options. This way, you can save your custom header and footer commands to the G-code. Select a location and click Save. Back in CNC 12, we load the program from the location we saved it, and then we graph it. This will take a little while, but once the graphing is completed, you may run the job. But first, take note that Video Gerbil automatically sets part zeros to the bottom left of the material. If this is not where you want the engraving to appear on your material, then you will need to reset the part zero positions. An easy way to precisely set part zeros is to jog the laser to where you want X and Y zero to be, then turn the laser on at low intensity. In CNC 12, go into MDI mode and issue an M37 command to activate the laser. Then enter an M3 command with an S followed by a number value indicating the laser's power level. You will want to make this value only high enough for the laser to just turn on and not burn your material. Once those commands are entered, the laser is on. Now jog X and Y to where you want part zero to be. Then go into setup, part, set X position. Repeat that process to set the Y position. Do not set the Z as it is already set to the laser's focal height. Escape out of setup, and now X and Y are set to zero in the work coordinate system. You can now engrave an image onto your material. Thank you for watching this quick how-to video demonstrating the connection and setup of a laser engraver to Centroid CNC's Acorn controller. Let us know some of the creative ways you come up with using this configuration. See you next time!